started here. Got to get my chat up so I can see what we're saying. If you can hear me okay, go ahead and let me know in the chat. Okay, there we go. Okay. So excited about this one here. All right, I'm all set now. I have these Let's see if I can move it. I got these beautiful flowers um, from my son's friend girl, we'll say. There you go. So I want to... Hi, Brenda. Oh, great. Now I can see. Yay. Can we see the flowers? <laughs> Hi, Karen. How are you? Hi, Sarah. Oh, yay. Yeah, so my son's friend girl brought me these. Um, so I thought I would highlight them today. It is such a beautiful day. Kit Kat is right in front of the window, right in front of me. So she is here with us. And yeah. Oh, you got your Heidi. Which color did you get, Brenda? Hi, Maeve. All right. As you can see, I'm going live like 20 times today, so I'll be live back-to-back -back live wig reviews from now until 3.30. Then I'll be back at 5 for one more. Maeve, at 5 o'clock, it's going to be that, the one that was here that was like pink. I'm going to be doing that one. Oh, nice, Brenda. And then at 6 o'clock, I'm doing another live wig haul with a bunch of different brands and things. So that's going to be exciting. All right. So I thought I would share, before we get started, where my hair is. Um, I do have alopecia, and it is finally growing in. The front seems to be struggling a little bit. Um, but yes, this is what my hair is looking like. No color, no nothing. This is just what it is. Live all day, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Beth. Nope. Just started. Work got in the way. I know, work, work is annoying. Um, I know, the wake haul is later. So let me find Miss... So this is going to be a little bit different because I have worn her and I have thoughts. So... Brenda, did you get the one that I have, the heat safe one, or did you get the original one? I have both, but today we're doing the heat safe one. Um, so today we are going to review Miss Heidi and this is the, okay, same, same as me. Um, we're going to do the VersaFiber Heidi, which means it's their fibers that are heat safe and it's from Polly Young. I have her in the color SF10 slash 26, uh, six, which I believe is honey blonde rooted. Beth, do you know that? Beth's, Beth's best hair is here, and she is all things Paula Young, so she knows um, what's up. But I'm pretty sure this color is Honey Blonde Rooted. After I get done with all my lives today and this week, I'll go out ahead and put all the deets and everything. But I scooped her up for $84.93. And... Hi, Jackie! So this is what she looks like. Like I said, I have already worn this, so I do have some, I have some thoughts. Um, so this is her. Someone was saying if I get merch, I have to have a shirt that says, this is her. <laughs> um, so she is a lace front, monofilament lace front right here. The rest of the cap is that wefted cap, which gives you sort of the breathiness of it all. And then she has the adjustable straps that are velcro um this is what she looks like like i said i've already worn her um so this is the color and the rooting is a beautiful number six root and so i'm gonna use my Polly young brush that i got this is the static free wig brush that i got from Polly young 
and I'm going to use my Milanio. Yeah, I want to use this one. This is the wig grip cap from Milano. Okay, and this is the one that has the lace edge and the lace parting. Sarah says, Paul Young had a sale for extra 28% off and free shipping today. Oh, nice. Um, Karen, you're struggling with Jazz Mono. Who, who is that? I'm not familiar. I don't, I don't recognize that name. What company is it from? So I'm just going to put my wig grip cap on. If you have any, yeah, if you have any questions, like go ahead and put that in the chat. That's the good thing about doing the live ones. I can answer them live. And also tell me like what you're doing with your Friday. I'm going to be live. That's what I'm doing with my Friday. And tomorrow I am going to film some things that are for this very special thing that I've been working on for months and months and months and months and months. And hopefully soon I'll be able to reveal that to you. Okay, Deborah. All right, so this is what she looks like. My resume is good. My resume is out and it's done. Um, so it's just a matter of doing the whole job hunt thing. Um, she does have a little bit of permatease. I'll tell you what my issue, I did have an issue with her. She's gorgeous. So let me put her on and then I'll talk about what my issue is and see if I can try to resolve it with us together live. Um, but let's put her on. This is a very comfortable wig. I did wear her like all day. She has bendable ear tabs. Um, I like the lace front. I like the hand tied. I will just say this. I, okay, so my measurements put me sort of in the average petite. So from ear to ear, I am 11 and three quarters, which is petite. From front to back, I am 14 inches, which is average. And then my circumference is 21.5, which is petite average. I would say some people have said that the Paul Young wigs are run a little bit small. And I would say when I tried on quickly, I haven't reviewed her, but when I tried on quickly, the Heidi that's not heat safe, her wig cap was a little smaller. This one to me feels big. And so if it's good news for those of you who um, need a little bit more room, I mean, the rooting on this is just stunning. But this is my issue. Karen, Jean Renault Jazz, I'll have to look her up. I'm not um, familiar. Yeah, so Beth is also saying they run large. So this is my issue. If you can see it, I'm going to get really close. It's not that it can't be addressed, but this is something that we do need to address. Can you see um, that this is lifting here? Can you see that okay? Um, so there is... Let me get my... So there is room. I'm actually just sticking my comb in here. So there is room, this is a very HD colored lace, you can barely see it, but there is room between my head and the wig, which for those who need it is great. I like the length and the color a lot too. So what needs to happen is I need to make sure that I lay her flat, but I almost think I need some wig tape, which I have not actually used on my channel so this is a good opportunity hi sweet Irish girl 86 so this is a very good opportunity to demonstrate wig tape because in this situation for filming or, or photos it's fine but in real life I can really I'm gonna take my lens off and I want you to see just so you really understand what I am talking about can you see so now you can see the lace but it is definitely like, I'm just sticking my finger in there. Um, and so it, to me, I personally don't care because I don't care if people know that I wear wigs. But if you do care, you don't want like that lifting there. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm watching myself so I can see what you see. And um, the color...
I'm pretty sure it's it's the Honey Blonde Rooted or whatever. But the number is SF10 slash 26 number 6. So let's try to deal with this. Um, if, if you have a, a more of a circumference than I do, this is going to lay flat on you and it's going to be great. Um, but if you don't, it's going to be problematic. So let me just show you what she looks like and then we'll start messing with that part. But the color is stunning. Um, I love the rooting. She's definitely more of like an everyday color situation. And you can see the dimension is obvious. Okay, so Jackie, I had the same problem. Pulled her down in the ears more. I used wig tape and it was better. Right, so Jackie, you're slightly smaller than me, not by much. Um, so we're going to try wig tape. I don't normally use, use wig tape. Um, I mean, I use it, but I, I've never demonstrated it on my channel. So this is actually a good opportunity to do that. But she's got a beautiful... Now, I wore her. Like, I wore her, wore her, like, sweating and everything. So she's coming through and coming pretty well. This is all the hair to the front. Um... So she's going to be in that 14 to 16 inch, depending on your height. I am five foot six and a half. So you can see this is where um, she's falling on me. This is all the hair to the front. So this is a very realistic density. Let's look at her from the back. Yeah, some people like glue. I don't use glue on my channel. Not that I don't recommend it, but I'm a migraine sufferer. So I don't use glue because I sometimes just need to take my wig off immediately. And buttered toast Buttered Toast is the name. Um, thank you. Butter Toast Rooted. Thank you very much, Jenny. I wish they would print that on the card. Some companies put the numbers and the name. Some put just numbers. Some put just names. Consistency. Let's look at her from the back. I have my little... So this is her from the back. Oh, yeah. See, I think the little bit of permatease that's in this one is nice um, right where it is because it's going to help it sit on your head sort of no matter what your head shape is. Um, so it's not too much where I feel like it's it's a bother, but I do think it really uh, complements this particular style. And yeah, there's the movement. Color's gorgeous. So that's what we have for that part of it. It's nice out, but it's like a tiny bit chilly, so I have my blanket today. This is um, Hogwarts. It's a Hogwarts blanket, and I'm I got it for Christmas from my from my boyfriend's mom because she knows I love Hogwarts. Um, but it's enough to just keep the chill off because I have the windows open and Kit Kat's in front of the window. All right, so let's figure out this lifting situation. Let's talk about. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Um, yeah, so maybe it's just the got to be glued and that even spray, which I just got. I haven't tried yet, so I will do a video on that. Thank you, Jenny. Um, oh, if you ever wonder what I'm doing, I'm like, um, I have my septum pierced, and sometimes it I need to like move it around a little bit because I'm aware of it. Um, if it's in the right place, I'm not aware of it, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is so natural looking. Like, this is a wig that I, I mean, for under $100 and with a good sale. So with a good sale with that 28% off and free shipping, like, you could get this, you know, for like $60, $70. It's so worth it. Um, got to be sticky gel works amazing. Wipes off. Okay. Maeve likes it. I use wig tape. Right? So if someone hugs you or whatever. Um, so we're going to use this wig tape. This is a wig tape. Um, this comes with my, um, what's like with my Bishis and my Motown tresses. I just keep them in a little container over here. And then when I need them, I use them. I mean, essentially you could use double stick tape. It's, I mean, it's essentially what it is, but this is also made like for, um, you know, the skin. So this, it comes in this length. I don't feel like I need this full length. Jenny, I don't think she's too big in the cap. I'm just saying, like, I mean, I'm on the 
theoretically, I really am on the petite average side, especially ear to ear. And that's really where, um, ear to ear, I'm petite. I'm only 11 and three quarters. So overall, I don't, oh, look how cute. Hello. Overall, I do not think that it would be problematic. I'm just saying for me, it is lifting. The other thing that I think can contribute to the lifting um, is that I'm wearing that wig grip cap. So if I wore this with actually without a wig grip, um, it might be okay as well, but I'm not comfortable doing that. So let's clip this back. Now we don't want to clip it back so it pulls. We want to clip it back so this would sit naturally where it needs to sit. The other thing is um, because the lace is from here to here, I may just move it around to see where it lifts less and then glue it. So it looks like right there is where it wants to be and there's a tiny bit of lifting, but not a ton. So I'm just gonna lightly clip this back so it's not pulling up on that lace. I have to say the lace is very HD. I mean, without me going like this, you can't see, um, you can't see it. So we're just gonna do this. The other thing you can do is I can, I could clip this down to my hair with pins, um, but I still see the lifting a little bit, so we're going to use the wig tape. What do we got going on in the chat? Um, by the way, we have Maeve here. She's my moderator. Uh, we don't have issues here, really, with people in the chat, but if we do, um, she has the little wrench, so she can delete you. Not delete you, but delete your comment. I am going to be going live back to back to back with a bunch of different reviews. Most of these wigs I have already worn, so I have more than just initial thoughts. So when this is done, I'll go out of this live and go into that one if it makes sense. So if you want to keep on joining me, I would love it. All right, so what am I gonna, what am I, what, can I talk? What I'm gonna do is take this tape and, all right, I don't have my glasses, so I, I can't, where are my glasses? Uh, do you think she's tubing the cap? I get, I, okay, answer that. Thank you, Maeve. That's good to know. Where do you buy even? Um, I just purchased the even, Beth, so I can... It was in my last wig haul, but I, I'll send that to you. I just got mine. So I'm going to stick this tape right here. Oh my goodness. And it should just pull up. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to stick my tape right there where it's lifting the most. Kick hat. Get settled. And then if you see, we're just going to pull up the second, like the top layer. And then I'm just going to sit this down gently and adjust. And I'm just going to hold this for a minute right there. And then I'll answer questions while I'm holding it. Like, you don't need to hold it that very long, but. Yeah, Maeve's right. I get, I got mine from Amazon, and I'll send you the link for that. There's The Even Spray is nice because it comes in different strengths. Um, so for some people, like, they got to be glued like it is glued. It is there, right? And some people, it's like, yeah, I want it to stay, but I don't want it to, like... <laughs> meld with my skin to become one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That works super nice. Okay. Let me try to get close enough for you to see that it is now, I could probably use a little bit more tape, but if you can see it is now sitting right there. Karen, <laughs> you're funny. But do you see the difference, right? I'm so glad. Sometimes I'm nervous about the lives that you can see as clearly but I watch I actually watch myself on my iPad so that I can see what you're seeing and also I can read the comments easier because they're bigger um maybe I can let you know I've I've used wig tape the wig tape that comes like I said these come with my bishi and my Motown dress main concept also gives wig tapes and there's two of these lengths and so I only used like this much of it for this. And I find, yeah, it works. It kind of reminds me of like, 
of like boob tape. <laughs> I don't know if you if you know what I'm talking about, like the tape that you use sometimes with like strapless bras and stuff. It reminds me of that. It's that same tape. You could actually use that tape if you had that, the bra tape. Um, sometimes you put it so that your bra doesn't lift um, because that tape is made... <laughs> But that tape is made to be against your skin and to withstand a little bit of like heat or friction or sweating. Um, I actually have a roll and it's like a pink roll and it's like, it's called lingerie tape. You can use that too. You don't need to like, if you have that, try that. But I mean, it definitely, um, it definitely fixed that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little powder in and then I think she'll be good. Okay. Jenny, right? I'm so impressed. I have the other, okay, so her, this right here is the Heidi that's not um, the heat safe. So I'm curious to see how they compare and I'll do a comparison video. Um, for those of you, Jenny, is it, <laughs> it's not named boob tape. <laughs> I think it's, um, I think it's like lingerie tape. It's, it, <laughs> oh goodness uh so for those of you who are new or haven't heard this the powder I use in my part I use a powder foundation I use <laughs> I use bare minerals bare pro in the color cool beige 10 <clears throat> and oftentimes you'll find this at like TJ Maxx or or Marshall's but I like to get it during the Ulta or their Sephora sales because it's usually on their like 21 days of beauty or whatever. And it's usually 50% off. It's $34, but like this one I'm just panning right now. And I've had this for two years. So like it's way worth it. I personally like a powder foundation because I feel like it sticks a little bit more um, because it's meant to grip to your skin. Uh, and then I use this. I have a video on it. It's... This is from the Creme Shop, but it's meant for eyeliner. Like, it's an actual, like, an eyeliner brush. But I think it's just perfect for the part. So I just go in there and just, zoop, just like that. And I'm actually going to run this powder just along the edge here, too. My one cat. See, I could add more, but it's not lifting there naturally. It just wants to lift where I put the tape. But you could put more tape if you wanted. Um, since I... Kit Kat, what are we doing? She's like reversing. Are you settled now? I think she's moving my camera too. She is. She's moving the camera. Here, let me... Cats. Alright, I think I moved it. She's spoiled. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to get to some comments in just one second, but the last thing I'm going to do is take my, um, the Tressalore Wig Wax Spray, which is essentially a flexible sort of hold hairspray made for synthetic wigs. And just because this is sort of straight and I want to keep these fibers sort of going away from my face because that's just my, that's my thing. And, all right, so somebody said, oh, Maeve, I answered your question about the hold, I believe. I, I, Beth, I have plucked parts, but I did not have to pluck this one and I didn't try to. I feel like this, honestly, I feel like this part in this cap has been done beautifully. And so I wouldn't want to mess with it personally, but I actually have a video, I think going up tomorrow about how to pluck the part. All right. And that's what she is going to look like. So long story short, I mean, you could take a little bit of heat there if you wanted to. I don't find it necessary. Like, I'm glad that she is a heat safe wig, but the style is so beautiful. I don't see why you would want to use heat on her i mean you y'all can do what you want your wig but um yeah so this is heidi in the versa fiber which is their heat safe fibers um <laughs> J 
Jenny, you're too much. Um, I plucked mine a little because mine is quite dark. Okay, so the knots are noticeable. I put powder over the knots so that they aren't noticeable, but that's just how I like to do it. That's the nice thing about wigs. I like sharing and having all this back and forth in the chat because the truth of the matter is, is we're all individuals and we all like things different. And I think it's really important to say something isn't wrong just because you don't want to do it that way. If someone, if you're watching someone and they're showing you to, to do this or do that, if you don't want to do that, great. If you do, great. Um, but it's not like a right or wrong thing. It's kind of like makeup and clothes. It's like your decision. Um, like I get a lot of, people want to say a lot when I use a brush on my synthetic wigs. But the funny thing is, is like, if you're not comfortable using a brush, don't. But the, the wig brushes I have are from wig companies that make synthetic wigs. And they're meant for that. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people have sort of that, what's the word? You know, don't use a brush on a wig. I almost exclusively use a brush. And again, this is from Paula Young. This is made for her wigs. So to me, I don't find it an issue. But if you're not comfortable, then use a wide tooth comb. But that's probably like the one number one thing I get is that I shouldn't be using a brush on my wigs. And I, I don't believe in that. Do what you want. <laughs> it's your wig. Um, okay, so this is made. This is powder. So there is a Bare Pro Liquid. I only ever use powder foundation. And the reason I do that, yes, periodically you have to put the powder back in. But I also feel then you don't have to wash it as much. And the other thing is, is like, I feel like when you use liquid, sometimes it actually gets on the hair itself and I'm just not down. I'm not down with that. I'm just not down with it. So I use powder foundation, not loose powder, powder foundation. So Jenny, you said that's what people tell you, tell you, they tell you what? All right, so that is what I have for her. Um, what are your thoughts? Do you like Heidi? Would you be interested in her? Oh, yeah, you're driving your school bus? Oh, cool. Um, oh, Jenny, people tell you that you're too much. People tell me I'm too much, too. And, and I, I actually lean into it. I like it. I always say that I might be too much for some, but I am not enough for others, and I'm just right for you guys. <laughs> that was so cheesy. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm drinking iced coffee, so. Um, yeah, I love this. I'm definitely keeping this, so those of you who know I do my live wig sales, she will not be for sale, so don't look for her. Um, I feel like I actually want to get a few more, maybe in a different color, um, but I need to pump the brakes on that right now. Okay, so I, d I just think the hair length apart, everything, it's so easy, it's so natural. Outside of it lifting just a little bit right here, I don't have any issues with this. Oh, so you got the wheat rooted and the golden wheat. Are they like darker or like are they warmer than this one? I don't find this, I find this pretty neutral. I don't find this particularly warm or particularly cool. Like, it's definitely not ashy. Um, but I do find this more in a neutral situation as far as the color. Okay, so that is what we have for Heidi. I'm so excited. So I will be back here. I have to have my little schedule because I have my little schedule. So I'm going to go out of this video. Sunkissed rumor is, is Sunkissed Rooted is warmer, I think. Oh, they're the lightest colors in the VersaFiber. Okay, so I will be back here in 15 minutes, and we are going to be doing uh, Elite Babe. That's the next one. And then at 2.30, I'm going to be doing the um, Aesthetica's Orchid in Iced Mocha. And I have an orchid in another color, and so we're going to look at those two colors together. Buttered Toast is neutral. Then I need to get a Buttered Toast because I like a neutral color because I'm a neutral undertone. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I hope you come back. So I will be live for wig reviews at 2, 2.30 and 3. Then I will be doing 
Beltresses Rosa Ella at five, and then we are going to be doing a uh, wig haul and unboxing at six. So I will see you guys soon, and thank you for sharing this time with me. Yes, hair mail. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. Have a great day. I'll see you guys maybe in 15 minutes. Bye. Bye, Jenny. Bye, Beth. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you in a couple minutes.